hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping lights paint the skies. All because of you. Hey guys, it's Olivia Face here, and today we are gonna get all glammed up for you guys. Um, I just decided to do this really bronzy with the brown lips and the neutral colors. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I um, apply and style this wig that I'm wearing, which I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet, but you know what? We're just gonna rock with it and yeah. So <laughs> if you guys want to see a talk through video of how I did this look and how I did my wig then you guys can keep on watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so now to prime my face I'm just gonna use my Nivea men's crochet balm as per usual So now I just prime my face with the Nivea Mons Crochet Balm and I'm not going to use my Maybelline um, Dream Cushion Foundation today because I've been using that way too much and I just completely forgot about every other foundation I didn't have. I already have. So I am going to try to test out um, different products with different things. Um, so for example, I'm going to use my, um, my Maybelline Matte Poreless Normal to Oily um, Fit Me Foundation in um, Classic Tan. And with this, I'm going to use for the first time, I am going to try to use this with my Kat Von D concealer to see how, how it works. I usually use this with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, but the two that I have, I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but every time I use it, it leaves like these white spots. like. I don't know, it's just weird, so I haven't been using it for a while. I don't think that's enough. Oh, and don't mind my hair. I'm gonna put on a wig. <laughs> I look so funny right now. I put way too much foundation. Look at that. So I'm just gonna put some back in the bottle. But yeah, as I was saying, don't mind my hair, don't mind my ratchet nails. I'm just ratchet today, but we're gonna get it together. Um, actually went to the store, the beauty supply store, and I bought a wig. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. And my braids are looking hella ratchet under this. So to save myself the embarrassment, I just grabbed this and just put it over my head because I can't. Alright, so I have my damp um, Real Technique sponge, which is this is what I always use to apply my foundation. By the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight. Chemicals collide. Hold tight. For concealer, like I said, I'll be trying out the Kat Von D concealer in D31. Like I said, I'm just testing it out because I never use it with this foundation, but I always use it with my Kat Von D foundation, and it usually works. Like, I don't mind that it's not super light. Now, with this concealer, because it's so thick, it tends to crease really easily, so I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm going to use BH Cosmetics um, contour palette and I'm just going to use some of these shades at the bottom. Can't see. I'm just going to use these two shades to contour. To contour my face, I use the Morphe M523 brush and to contour my nose, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics 103. I'm not going to use a really dark shade to contour my nose because I don't want it to be too harsh. So to contour my nose, I'm just going to use this shade right here. So I'm move on to the eyes. I'm just going to um, bake here. 
that way my contour is much sharper and like that. Like I said, I'm going for a really bronzy black girl friendly look and of course I'm using my Charlotte and Bloom palette and I'm just going to start off with, um, as you can see this palette has been through quite a lot. So I'm just going to start off with Sweetheart as like my base color. And as you already know, I'm going to do the good eye on camera and then the opposite eye off camera. Now I'm switching to my BH Cosmetics Z5 brush. And I am going to put this color Rebel, that, that one, that one on the outer face. By the sounds I'm breathing in, hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. See, I'm just brushing it along the eyelid. Because of you, dripping lights, paint the skies, only you. A little bit of a firecracker, the shade. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to take my Nubian palette, Nubian palette by Jimmy's Place, and I'm going to use this shade of it. Give it that little shimmer. I am going to top this shade on top of it. Alright, so to create my wing liner, I am going to use um, my e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black. Sorry, midnight. My Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. Today I'm going to use my Ardell 105. As you can see, I bought the multi the multi pack one. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm Whew, I just feel like that took forever, but now that the eyes are done, the brows are done, we're just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the face. And to brush away my setting powder, I am going to use my um, Sephora Pro, I can't pronounce that, there's a word on here, but this is the brush that I typically use, and I, I know, I know I need to wash it, but... Let's not worry about that, and we're just going to go ahead and brush away the, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I have a lot of fallout from my eyeshadow, so we're just going to carefully brush that away first. set my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden. So for the under eyes, I'm just going to go back in, in the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to put this shade, this one right here, 
under my I may believe great lash. So for blush, I'm just gonna use my BH Cosmetics Professional Blush, and it comes with 10 different colors, and this is what it looks like. We're going real bronzy today. I'm not gonna use a really bright pink like I normally do. I am just going to probably take this shade, like an orangey shade, or this And then to set everything together, I am going to use my NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray, and this is what it looks like. I am going to probably use my NYX Lingerie and Teddy, which is like a really pretty brown. And I'm probably going to top it off with my Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Fair Secret, which also looks like that. By the sounds I'm breathing in, hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Didn't forget highlight, okay? Um, so for highlight, of course, the real, real bronzy, glowy look. I'm gonna use my Anastasia, so Hollywood the Only you. All right, so this is the finished look of the face. I don't know if I like this lip color, but I'm just gonna go with it for right now. I said this is what it looks like, and it is a half a wig. Um, and the name of it is, I believe it's Coloma. And it says on there also that it is iron friendly, which means you can curl it or style it however you want. So, what I pretty much did is threw some big ass dookie braids. Um, in my hair, and I have a little bit of weave out here, and then I did leave out the sides as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the packet. I did try it on earlier, and it kind of made me look like Patty LaBelle, but you know what? <laughs> We're just gonna work with what we got. Because most wigs, when you see them in the store, and then they look good on the mannequin because they've been, they've been on the mannequin for so long, and then you buy it yourself, and you try it on for the first time, and you're just like, what the hell is this? What did I buy? But anyways, like I said, we're going to work with what we got. So, it did come with a huge comb at the front. And it also came with uh, half a comb on the bottom, and as you can see, the tag is there, so it lets you know which part is the front and which part is the back. And and this is the front. This is the front of it. It doesn't have a part to it or anything. And this is what she looks like. So before I throw that on, I'm actually going to lay my edges down. I don't really know how I want the front to look. And I probably should have straightened my hair because I had it braided last night, but you know what? Well, the edge control that I'll be using is by Oxion, I believe it's called Oxion Ultra Hair Wax, and it looks like that. Let's just go ahead and put it on and we'll figure out the rest later.
that bad. Hmm. I just need to fix this, this little part, and then we'll be fine. So yeah, like I was saying, I actually really like it. So like I need to get this part together. Alright, so this is the finished look, you guys, and this is how the wig looks with, um, all I did was add a little bit of edge control as I did on camera, and then off camera I just touched up my edges, um, with the flat iron to try to blend it in. And like I stated previously, the hair is, um, a 1, it's not a 1B, so it doesn't quite match with my hair, but I think it's fine. So... I just wish that the wig wasn't so poofy. I don't know if it's giving me like Patti La <laughs> like Patti LaBelle vibes or if I'm just tripping. Like, am I tripping? Do y'all like this? I don't know. I feel like I just have to get used to like how like how thick it is. It's just so extremely thick. So this is how it looks on the side and the back. So yeah, like I mentioned, I definitely have to get used to how thick um, the wig is, but I just think that um, it's not really working right now because the wig is brand new, like I literally just took it out the package, so once I get to wearing it and, you know, braid my hair down a little smaller, that way the braids aren't that big and so poofy because my hair is super thick, so maybe then, maybe then, maybe just then, it'll work for me. Yeah, like I said, this is the finished look, so if you guys like it, definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below because your girl is... I'm like in the size of like, I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. So let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this super long video of me not knowing what look I wanted to do, but you know, we figured it out, we got it together and yeah. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Paint the skies, all because of you.